of those stars are not dealing with the horizon and you can't make straight on the I mean you can't make straight on the globe. Sorry, you can't make straight on a globe? Yes, that's correct. Bendy's on tool. You can't make straight on a curved surface. That's correct. Welcome to Flat Earth. Nathan Oakley, 1980. Follow his... All the area, like the whole surface area of that circle needs to be flat. Uh, yeah, that's why this line here is straight. And this line here is straight. And this line here is straight. And the line from your fix to the GP of the star is straight. And if you picked a star over here and its GP was here, the line from you to that GP would also be straight, making every single elevation in this area flat for it to work. You cite the star. With this diagram, it's a little bit more weird because they don't draw the line out to the GP of the star for the triangulation. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you do it from. You're doing the exact same thing to achieve these three circles that will intersect at exactly the same point when you've got the position below where the star is. Just that simple. If you can literally see the horizon, then you can make a straight line to it. Welcome to Flat Earth. That's correct. And that is exactly how it's done in order to do this triangulation. Welcome to Flat Earth. OK. OK. Yeah, I'm looking at the diagram now. Right. The circle is just an area of land all at the same altitude oh is that what that, that's what y'all mean by needing to be the same altitude yes to achieve the result this line from you to wherever the gp of the star is or this one can't be falling away from you because if it's falling away from you eight inches per mile squared it would put each of these different geographical positions on a different elevation in three-dimensional space and would no longer be capable of triangulating your position with. Because the position above the star has fallen away from this triangulatable position if it's flat. So all of this oh, area, these... which could be thousands Sorry. of square miles, is all flat. If it wasn't, this would not work. Nathan Oakley, 1980. Follow his, uh, he does Flat Earth debates every day, mm. live, live streams, Flat Earth yeah. debates. Anybody could get on and, uh, you know, and, and debate him, and he just demolishes everybody. Uh -huh.